Meg not batting last in the order for any particular reason. She's also a low handicapper. And you can see not afraid to take it all the way back and put a full swing on it. That one coming up. Whee! Oh, my gosh, almost in on the fly. Okay. I'll tell you, these gals really right. striping it here at Number Memorial two. Park. It's a, a heavy, granular, specific gravity, something like that. Keeps the sand in the bunkers on windy days, but a nice fluffy feel. Let's see what Susan can do with it. And Susan caught a lot of ball on that, but had plenty of groove action on her sand wedge. She checks it just about 11 feet beyond the cup. Nicely done. Smith just trying to locate a landing spot. Looks like he'll lead the action from down there. Try and show the guys how much kick they'll get, but you got to remember coming back up on this shaved uh, mounding around the green, it's, oh, he flies over it. Yes, very nicely done, almost in the cup. Well, that's how the pros do it because the grass that's been shaved is growing right back at them. And so where you think you can just bump it into the hillside. <laughs> and I'm hitting a five iron because I think there's a little breeze in our face. And I'm gonna try and get it on the green is the intention here. Five iron a good call because they are indeed back against the breeze. Oh, and a Green, solid baby. pick right there. She just that's caught that good, one guys. on a that's sweet in the horn. spot. Come on, and right over the flag right, stick. Right. What a shot that's by strong. Becky Gregory. That's a little strong. I got a little excited. And this has been the home of the Houston City Amateur Championships for many, many years, as Sackett can attest with her championship back in 96. And so now Linda from the collar. And pretty darn good with the flat stick. This girl knows how to get the ball in the hole. Fade, fade, tracking, just leaking around the pro side. There she is, the obligatory 12 and a half inches on the B side, got it to the cup, squaring up the blade. Now she'll take her stance and put the other hand on the handle. This is Libby Marks, this a par saver. The team needs the three. Eyes right over the line, back and through. Yes! And the pro side, yes, nicely girl. done, Libby Marks. That's our so Libby. Far. Well, Gonzo, known for her distance off the tee. Interestingly, she's gone to one of those rescue clubs here, probably the knockoff five iron, but with all that body behind it and oh, rhythmic and indeed oh, as she hangs on to this go. one, floating it in there nicely. Oh, and look at this track. And yeah. Linda Gonzo Gonzalez inside 12 feet. Oh, yeah. Purdy waiting for the girls here on the green. Nice little forward press with the hands. Keep those hands in front of the blade. Just get it started. There's the release. Tracking. Beautiful chip. All right, so there it is. Guaranteed par for Carolyn. Well, Springer from Spring, Texas. You heard him describing it with some adjectives there. It's a knockdown six. Not just a six. A knockdown. So watch that abbreviated backswing here. Ooh, there wasn't much knockdown on that, man. He held onto that handle and ripped it. Look at this, Springer. Oh, my goodness, almost in the cup. Oh, wow, what a shot. He almost knocked the flag stick down is what he knocked down. That's the most incredible shot we've seen today and an excellent look at birdie for our host, Randy. This is Linda Gonzalez. This for birdie. I'm Donna Brady and my uniform gives it away. I'm proud to be a member of the Women's Texas Golf Association Board. I want to say thank you to the committee for a fantastic Alliance Cup tournament. And I'm so delighted to be part of an organization that's so supportive of junior golf. Can I say a shout out to my honey Jim Brady back in San Antonio, actually at Fair Oaks Ranch, Texas. Don is a low handicapper, and, you know, they've really got some great players there at Fair Oaks Ranch. David Murrah, the golf pro there, there you go. tells us that some of the women there could probably go on the Futures Tour. And look at this one. Tracking might be in the cup. Here it comes. Oh, my word. Donna Brady almost making the hole-in-one on camera. There's a lot to be proud of there, Jim. Floyd, you notice the hands in front of the blade, just back and through. Oh, what a nice three. Floyd Landry with an incredible up and down 
on the tee from the first tee program of the Houston Golf Association is Brian Ledette. And Ledette, this guy, remarkable golf specimen, swinging a nine here from 142. She had big drive, that right hip coming through as he thrust off the right foot. And Ledette almost in on the fly. Wonderful shot. Debbie just a back and through. She's going to have this a little release on this, perhaps. Carved nice. it up there nicely. Look at this shot. shot. Debbie Sinkbeel. Beautiful touch. Mark looking like he's playing with a ping. Possibly the answer, too. That's what it looked like from this distance. This one's a little bit downhill. After it gets to the halfway point, it bleeds to the cup. Right in the jar, Mark Bauman. Oh, birdie, baby. Just our third birdie of the day. Bird, bird man. Like we said, go Texans. Nanette Wayless, Waco, Texas from Ridgewood. Having a good time today. Gloveless on the left hand. High modulus graphite shafts. Just a nice, smooth tempo there. Miss. Catch the back half, put a little spin on that one. Look at that, almost in the cup. What a shot by Nanette Wheelis. Haven't seen but one birdie in the tournament so far. Donna, right in, so put a 2-3 in the card for the girls here at the par three. How sweet is that? And now they are atop the leaderboard. 2-3, nothing to it. What a putt. <laughs> Nanette just hammers it to the back of the cup with confidence. That was a quick read, quick conversion, beautiful par. Marlene just radiates LPGA. You know, she just looks like one of those gals that probably played the circuit for a number of years. Wonderful, steady body, and you can just see the acceleration kick off when she pulled the trigger from that big wind up, and this one just to the backside fringe. Nicely done. Summers with a good look at birdie from just about 17 feet. And Sid back here on the backside just trying to dial in the speed. She's got great touch. And I'll tell you what, when Sid and Donna brought their A games over from Fair Oaks Ranch, you knew this team would be in contention to take home the hardware. All she's thinking is just stop it close. Running it on this 11.5 stemped green. <laughs> Look at this inside six inches. How sweet was that? And Munster, I'll tell you, she knows how to play on behalf of the team. You know, a, a less experienced player might have gone boldly at it and left himself a testy seven footer coming back. But Greer Patton, Houston Country Club. Greer Patton, sort of like the Tom Kite of HCC. He's a guy who's very meticulous in his approach to the game, spends a lot of time on the range practicing, and he has just got it down. Seldom do you find Patton very far off the mark, and this one well struck and just left of the flag stick. Oh, what a shot. Thanks. Another beautiful swing and performance by Greer Patton <laughs> as he sets up a good look at birdie from 14 feet. Chris Johnson here from the deep stuff. Look at that great judgment of distance there. She bounced it, trickles it out, almost to the cup. That's Chris Johnson. This is my caddy here. I can't do without it.